Hi everyone, so today I am doing my hypnobirthing class number three finally because I had issues with uploading and saving and all that stuff so I apologize that it's late but let's get right into it. The first thing that we talked about was visualization. So this had to deal with uh, visualizing things like um, a flower or ribbons or anything that can help you help your cervix uh, and uterus kind of work together. So one of the things she showed us was this flower. So like kind of like a rose. And when you think of a rose one, before it opens, it's tight, just like your cervix. Um, and as it blooms, it gets softer and softer and eventually the petal gets very soft and delicate and the petals are soft and open and um, a lot more pliable. So I thought that was really cool because you can I would probably be able to visualize something like that, um, but I also thought that maybe I would visualize something melting uh, because I feel like that's what happens to your cervix. So I guess you can kind of use whatever would work for you, but I thought that was cool that just using visualization would help immensely in, um, you know, progressing your labor quicker. And then she talked about visualization in optimal fetal position. So. This position is the best position for your baby to be in for delivery, which is the baby facing your left. You can also have it facing the right, but um, I guess this is one of the positions that's the best. So the baby's head is able to touch your cervix at 100% uh, instead of, you know, maybe 50 on one side and 80 on the other. Uh, it's able to do it all in one. Uh, and the baby's head's actually not completely facing forward or facing towards the back. So it's kind of on a slant, I guess. So she talked about picturing your baby in this position when you're in deep re relaxation and almost having that conversation with your baby, which kind of sounds silly, but uh, I actually have done it a few times when I've taken a bath. I'll think of things and uh, I almost feel like he's responding to them. So I don't know how much that is true, but I mean, it's worth a try, and when you're in delivery and someone tells you that your baby is breech, you don't want to have to have a C-section because a lot of hospitals don't do uh, breech deliveries. So we did massage and touch relaxation and counter pressure, uh, and that was nice. Uh, we had our partners um, like massage our necks and kind of do like you know the back of their hand up and down our backs and our hips and stuff like that and that was really relaxing. So that'll help during you know the discomfort through early labor and maybe even active labor. So and with the counter pressure as well putting pressure on our hips um, and our back to deal with the pain from that. So we did sows at the very end and that was kind of funny and made me laugh because she just wanted you to practice amongst each other making these like deep low sounds and I was laughing the whole time because people were making sounds that just sounded ridiculous but you pretty much sound like an animal or you sound like maybe you're having sex so uh, those might work I mean really when you watch people giving birth they usually are making a lot of noise so, so the last thing that we did was exercise and movement and uh, I'll show you quickly uh, we did kind of like yoga poses kind of thing so like lotus and polar bear um, squatting lunges and cat cow and these will all help you with dealing with stretching out your pelvis area getting into a more comfortable position and uh, just making it easier for delivery and some hospitals birth centers will let you squat when you birth let you stand up when you birth so I think working with gravity is probably the best way if you're not obviously having an epidural so that's pretty much it we did touch base on uh, on uh, massaging your panarium and that's kind of right at the bottom of the opening of your vagina and I'll, I'll list a plate uh, place that you can go website you can go to to look into that more uh, I was actually going to be doing this anyways uh, in the coming weeks to just um, get used to the pressure and the discomfort of that because it prepares your body better for uh, delivery especially when your baby is crowning and you're getting that ring of fire 
And of course it just massages your muscles because you don't want your muscles to be tight. And a lot of women are really tight when they go in um, and they have a harder time birthing. So that was short and sweet. Sorry that I'm late. Uh, I will try to be better with this, but I had a hard time downloading and saving and all that stuff. So happy birthing, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.